after the death of Ahn Hassan Pa Aton. What's well known is that when the death of I was announced, Hurim Heb was in Memphis, and he marched out of it in a great procession. In his reliefs, Hurim Heb ignored the period of the reign of I altogether. Moreover, he destroyed his monuments and removed his name wherever it was found. As for his funerary temple, which I usurped from King Tut, Hormohab seized it for himself, for he considered himself its true founder. But he erased Tut's name and placed his name instead. In that aspect, he wasn't far from truth, for he is the one who ordered the construction of King Tut when he was his guardian. The proof is that he didn't vandalize his tomb or placed his name on King Tut's personal belongings. As for his attitude with I, it was completely different, for he had shown him a usurper to the throne, which he considered legally was his, being the guardian of King Tut. For that, very few of I's monuments remained. One is his tomb in Amarna, and the other is his beautiful tomb in Thebes.